Last season in the playoffs, you played for fan support and you tried to bring some noise into the arena. Um, what would you like to say to the fans who are still hesitating whether they should come to games? Yeah, I don't think uh, I, I don't think it's a hesitation. I think uh, you know everybody, you know, uh, are fans in their own way, and you know. But for us, of course, uh, if fans wonder if you know sometimes if it matters or not, uh, you know, it does matter, and I think that. We're in the business of entertainment and people, it's a, it's a business where people come and cheer for their home team and, and to be honest, they're, they're the ones who make the game of hockey. With no fans, there's no hockey, you know, and, um, but when you're playing and there's a great atmosphere, the players feel that and the players feel that support and it's a big thing. It's a really big thing. And, uh, you know, I said it here when I when I came here in 2002, and how fans were great to me, and and now the last three years, um, you know, the support they've shown and everything through through all that, and you know, we've had some bad moments, and I think that, you know, if you look around the league, some teams have bad years, some teams have bad moments, and uh, you know, but the fans here, they're still showing their support, and you know. It's, uh, you know, to those who do hesitate, well, you know, it does mean a lot when you're here and uh, it makes a difference and that's important to us. But uh, of course, we greatly appreciate that support and, you know, to see, uh, you know, because hey, I was a kid one time and I, I, you know, I bugged my dad to go see some hockey games and, you know, so uh, it's always a great, great thrill and it's a great thrill for us to see those little kids that we can make a difference for them and, you know, to develop the passion of hockey into them also as they're growing up. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a great thing. It's a great sport and uh, we certainly appreciate our fans. That's for sure. You are the captain of youth. How would you describe yourself as a leader? Well, uh, I think uh, if I were to describe myself, uh, uh, I would say I'm more, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit of both. Uh, I try to lead by example on the ice and also off the ice in the locker room. And uh, I try to be a leader for young kids, uh, you know, and try to help them through situations, um, you know, the learning process. You know, it's not always easy. Not everybody, you know, not everybody tells you everything and becoming a pro doesn't come with a instruction book, you know, and you learn that. And just like I learned to become a professional through older guys when I played. And uh, I relied on that a lot. You learn from these guys uh, how they work, how they come ready every day, uh, how they play, how they approach the game. Uh, you know, it's, that's how, what a leader is, you know, it's not just, you know, leading your team on the ice. I think it's important that, you help develop players and you help and that's only going to help your team uh, during the season. I think uh, I, I try to be that kind of that kind of player and, uh, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm in nature a uh, shy person, but I've learned, you know, through through hockey to become a little bit more open and and be more a little bit more uh, vocal and, and stuff like that. So. Uh, uh, it's it's helped me a lot to become a leader. Who are the top three players in the world right now? Uh, in my opinion, I think uh, Sidney Crosby is, f of course, the best player in the world right now. He's full of talent. Um, <clears throat> I think that Steven Stamkos is probably the purest goal scorer there is right now in the game of hockey. And, uh, you know, third, play third best player right now. I mean, we've it's just so... F many young good players in the game you know but uh, you know if I look at all around I mean uh, I really enjoy that uh, Eric Carlson and uh, def as a defenseman also if I gave two forwards I'll give one defenseman I think uh, Eric Carlson is so talented as a defenseman and uh, it's fun to watch him play. Uh, what are your personal goals this season? Personal goals, uh, you know, 
I want to extend my career, so that means that uh, I'm working on on still making myself better. And uh, uh, my goal is to not give anybody a reason to think anything about my age. And then uh, another personal goal is just to, you know, of course, help this team as much as I can to to win again. And uh, that's something that. When we won two years ago, that feeling of winning, uh, nothing beats that. So, of course, that's a huge goal.